All right, hello everyone, it's Natalie here, back with another channel message for you guys. Hope everyone is doing well today. So let's tap into this energy really quick. Um, it looks like today's readings are just very uh, loving, caring, and balanced. Um, basically, the same cards came out from the last reading. Um, the only two that are different are daydreams and decisions. And then we have healings begin. Healing is beginning, okay? Um... Now, if you're not in a relationship, you guys are definitely balancing your masculine and feminine energy out. But this is definitely a specific reading. Someone out here is thinking about you. They're daydreaming about the future that you guys can have together. Someone out here is really excited about your guys' future. So excited that they're even willing to lead it, okay, in a non-toxic way. Um... It's like they want to heal everything. It's like something out here is definitely a fresh new start for them. There's someone out here in the background basically helpless and hopeless. It's like they they don't like that this masculine energy. I'm going to show you really quick. Deepest, darkest fears is out here. And then we have change your focus. So someone out here is not being paid attention to. Why? Because the heart chakra is wide open out here. So it looks like this masculine out here is definitely... Um, Seeking out some sort of truth, okay? And strengthening your bond. So think about the way that you guys speak to each other also. Yeah, it's like they're mastering their emotions, okay? Someone out here definitely try to attack your chakras, but that's not going to work, okay? Someone out here is like just def definitely petty in the background, but there is a masculine energy out here. Very high vibrational. Someone that is on your level. Someone that is balanced with you. Someone that could either be co-parenting if you guys have children even if you guys aren't together, the whole fact that this person is cooperating with you is really irritating somebody. And it's, it's, it just sounds so karmic, it's not even funny. Um, you know what? I didn't even get a message from the ancestors. Let's get a message from the ancestors when it comes to this reading. Let me get a message from the ancestors in this reading. But they definitely like want to heal something out here with... You know, I mean, maybe you guys have been through something, like, very bad together. They want to stop that. Okay. I'll just take these two cards out here. So we have Akashic Stargate. Aligned with purpose. Crossroads. No wrong path out here. Then we have, yes, pro proceed, be seen, and push through. So what Spirit is trying to say out here is that if you are a masculine, okay? Because I feel like I could be reading for masculine today. If you are some sort of masculine out here who wants to go forward to someone, but you're a little bit confused about how to do it, there's no wrong way to do this. Okay? It, it, it's your purpose. As long as it's with this person, you're following your purpose. Maybe you guys have certain business ideas that you want to get done together. There's no wrong way to do this. There's no wrong way to do that. Whatever business idea, whatever house you guys want to um, move into, whatever car you guys want to buy together. I feel like this is a masculine daydreaming about being with you guys, okay? And you guys know this person. This person is not a crazy stalker or someone that has did you wrong or anything like that. They could have done you wrong, but maybe years ago. Um, basically because they weren't in their masculine energy. They weren't making decisions. They weren't leading, Okay. Someone out here wants to go on vacation with you guys. So maybe this person is thinking about vacations ideas for you guys. Yeah. Clarify balance. Why is balance here, please? Okay. Yeah, white witch. Okay. Why is balance here, please? Why is balance here, please, for the collective, Holy Spirit, and angels? Shadow work. Community gossip. Let me get one more. For balance. People are talking about this. Yeah, fed you to the wolves. So even though... I don't know who exactly fed you guys to the wolves. I don't feel like it's this person. I feel like it's someone out here that's seen something happen to you. And the fact that you're still very balanced. And it didn't affect you. There's people out here talking about it.
someone out here fed you to the wolves while you were going through some sort of shadow work that you were doing out here and you guys alchemized that and became the white witch someone was going through a police investigation yeah because they were messing with an earth angel all right they're messing with a chosen one, so they're going through a police investigation. All right. Clarify healing begins. It looks like you guys get a new start. You guys are going to have a peaceful new start. Clarify healing begins. Yeah, I just saw keep winning. Clarify healing begins. Twin flame connection. 11th house, groups, family, friends, technology, hopes, and dreams. Yeah, keep winning is here underneath uh, healing begins. Twin Flame Connection, 1111. You guys could actually be seeing 1111 a lot lately. It means you're aligned. 11th House, Groups, Friends, Technology, yeah. It's like these people are going to be talking about you guys coming together. Give me one more, please, for Healing Begins. Mental Imprisonment. So it could be like a bunch of people out here that could either be one going to prison. Yeah, I'm getting that. Or two, it's because they're messing with an earth angel out here. Like God don't play about the earth angels. So, yeah, it's, it's like giving me energy like you guys rounded up a bunch of karmics and now they're going to jail. And a bunch of people are talking about this. A bunch of people could be like definitely afraid. Okay. Clarify daydreams and decisions. So in the midst of all that going on, you guys got a lot of options. You guys are like, yeah, generational wealth. Hmm. It was always your lifelong dream to have generational wealth, and you're getting this. Clarify daydreams and decisions. Yeah. You guys are getting a lot of, like, abundance in your life. You guys are just so blessed right now, and your energy is just so clear. Okay, so we have clarity, cleansing, clearing out. 11th house relationships, marriage contracts, partners, equality. But then we have dark presence out here. I knew it. Yeah. Cheating and infidelity. One in a million. A hypocrite. What is this? Set boundaries. There is someone out here that you may have to set boundaries with. Yeah, some sort of... Okay, thank you, spirit. So, whoever these people are, they're going to definitely... You're going to notice something about these people it's like their energy is going to change um someone here definitely try to put like a dark presence or a dark cloud over your guys's relationship or over your generational wealth or something like that you guys definitely clear that energy out or is being cleared out it's not going to affect you anymore clarify lead clarify lead please for the collective Clarify lead, please, for the collective. Prostitution, sex work, authenticity. All right, here we go again. Uh, home wrecker, yep. Stole money and possessions. Good intentions. Someone here try to lie on you guys and say that you guys were either a home wrecker or that you stole from them. But you had good intentions. You were very authentic in everything that you do. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, so they were dealing with a homewrecker. Yeah, that only marries for money. Okay. And maybe they try to say that you only marry for money. They actually stole from you? What is this? That came out of nowhere. Don't be afraid, high priestess. Sacrifice, happy marriage. Yeah. So this divine masculine energy is going to have to start making serious decisions out here because there's people out here messing with his money, his marriage. Clarify this prostitution sex work energy. Who is this? Tenth house, long-term career reputation, public image. Yeah, this person is known for this, I guess, whoever this is. That's their career. They're regret and grieving right now because someone out here is manifesting their dreams. It's a dark witch. 
this person stole money from somebody and that's like making someone like really mad could be a Capricorn with a poverty mindset who's going through childhood trauma who's heartbroken because you're able to be strong and they're not they, they can't be strong like you something about that energy okay yeah I knew it was a dark witch because we had the white witch out here. Now we have the dark witch. The white witch has been through a lot of shadow work. Here's what I'm getting out here. Um, it's given me like student and teacher. This person, this dark witch is learning from you guys. I don't know if your past was, you know, uh, sex work. It probably wasn't. Maybe you guys just went through something else karmic in your life. And you guys just basically bossed up throughout all of it. And they're wondering how you did it. Now, when you were going through your karma or when you were going through some sort of like healing in your life or you were going through your trials and tribulations, you didn't, you didn't afflict pain on other people. That's the difference between this witch and you, okay? Um, you took it as a learning lesson. You're just, you just ran into your karma. Like you just ran into it. You didn't run from it. You just ran into it, okay? Um... And you learned. And now you kind of feel bad for this person, but you're like, they're not going to learn if anyone helps them. They're only going to learn the same way that I learned. And these people out here may think that you, you know, you think that you're better than them or you think that, um, you know, you, you're just in the energy of like just not helping them because you're being selfish. But really, you're in the energy of not helping them because they have to learn the same way that you learn. That's the only way that they're going to elevate in life. And they're not going to elevate by living off of this mask when they're living off of you. That's what they got to realize out here. Let me uh, light some Palo Santo really quick because I feel like it went out. Yeah, someone out here is tired of taking care of somebody that just steals money. Okay? They're tired of that. Or lying about... If someone out here has money... Okay, this is how this person works, this uh, dark witch energy. She or he would have money and then lie and act like they don't have money. Right? They would lie about it. And then that's what would get this person to give to them. Whole time they got maybe hundreds of dollars saved up somewhere. And they're just pretending like they're poor. So this, this masculine is tired of that energy or you guys are tired of that energy. All right, let's see. What's the energy, please, for this reading? Hangman, upright. Someone out here is in this woke energy, okay? They see things the way that they're supposed to be, okay? Um, what else, please? I'm also getting like someone here just can't do something anymore. It's like their hands are tied. King of Wands in the reverse. So the King of Wands in reverse represents a masculine energy that can't get something done. Yeah, the devil in the reverse. Okay. So someone out here sees someone for who they are. It could be Capricorn or Fire Sign energy. Yeah, they're not in the energy of being unsure anymore. It's like they can't be fooled. Um, this person is extremely toxic. They're being detached from. Um, someone out here is going to have to get their life together because people see them for who they are. Yeah, the Five of Wands in reverse. They can't even fight this anymore. There's no competition yet because the Emperor is here. Divine Masculine Energy. He's woke. He's ready to start making decisions. What else, please, for the collective? He's in this Boss Energy. Page of Swords out here. Yeah, okay. Give me another one. So this King of Wands in the reverse. Okay, he must be very important. So I'm going to talk about him. He could be like close to this masculine energy. And yeah, Five of Cups, Ace of Swords in the reverse, the Two of Wands in the reverse. Someone out here fell for a lie also is what I'm getting. And they're getting karma for that. So, um, this King of Wands in reverse is spying on the Emperor, is what I see him doing. He notices that he's detaching from him. He's noticing that, like, he's grown now and he's able to make decisions. This King of Wands in reverse wants the Emperor to be like him. Yeah, but they're being detached from Look, we have Temperance right underneath the Devil. There's a whole lot of healing going on out here. 
It's like they're not in the energy. It's like good versus evil right now. Um, but evil is definitely losing. Evil always loses. But right now, this person is starting to realize that this emperor is shifting his focus. He's not focused on whatever this king of wands in reverse is focused on. There also can't be any more adversity or any outside influence or something out here going on. The chariot is in the reverse. Yeah, this person is like going through a down spiral because they can't. It's like the energy of. It's like the energy of like a. Um, you know how when they say when you rub two things together, it's like it starts to bother the other thing. But it's like it's. It's been rubbed off so much that it cannot affect this emperor. It only made him wake up even more or something like that. It only made him, like, become immune to whatever this King of Wands universe was doing. I'm hearing five years. Okay, maybe this person was doing this for about five years. Tell me about the uh, hangman in the reverse out here. Clarify the hangman in the reverse, please, for the collective. Five of cups and the ace of swords in the reverse. Yeah, someone out here is woke to someone's lies or false narrative or just like uh, a big lie out here was, yeah, four of swords. It's like there's nothing that they can do about it. Also getting that like, yeah. See, this uh, masculine out here, he's resting, he's meditating. He's starting to realize a lot of things out here with this uh tower out here in the four of swords he's meditating and he's going through a lot of epiphanies right now and he just wants to move forward and start something committed uh give reciprocity based off of all these secrets are coming out yeah all these secrets are coming out and it's making this masculine love you even more or something like that it's like it's he's tired of this he's growing up so someone out here is in regret okay this person is also woke. It's like they, they're going through some sort of remorseful energy right now, too, because maybe they didn't believe you about something, or maybe they just didn't. They should have done this a long time ago is what I just heard. And I don't know. It's just like giving me very... This masculine could be sad. Clarify the Five of Cups. So I'm not here lost. Five of Cups, please, for the collective. Yeah, the Three of Pentacles. Okay. They they just don't want to collaborate with someone anymore. Yeah, they're going to end this. Page of Wands and the Four of Swords and the Queen of Swords in the reverse. The Ace of Wands and the World card. They're definitely going to be closing cycles out, but it's going to make people mad, okay? I'm also getting like they're... It's like they, they just feel very... Uh, they just know people around them are lying. Yeah, they just know people around them are just saying whatever. It's a work collaboration. It's a group of people, and they're woke to this. They could still be working with them, and they're just like, you know, they're at a loss right now because maybe they feel like they're living a lie. Clarify the King of Wands in the reverse for the collective. Yeah, the tower. Clarify the tower. King of Swords in reverse, a liar. There's a karmic masculine out here, guys. Maybe trying to influence your divine masculine. Eight of Wands in reverse, the Four of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. This person is very unstable. They also get mad whenever this masculine sees that. I don't know, this could be like this person's brother or friend or something like that. They're like really karmic and all they do is lie. Their lies are blowing up in their face. Clarify the uh, King of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, the Six of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, this person doesn't even care. They try to split up something. I'm also getting like uh, bad memories. This person has always done this. This person has always lied or made things up being a narcissist. Okay, this person can't do that anymore. Yeah, this person doesn't really care for their life. So they don't want this masculine to care about their life either. Clarify the devil in the reverse. This per this masculine is realizing they ha there has to be some sort of change out here. Clarify the devil in the reverse. Queen of Swords in the reverse. So we got two liars out here. 
Seven of Wands, Nine of Wands in reverse, Nine of Cups, very selfish, judgmental, okay? She's always trying to block things, very bitter. Queen of Swords in the reverse out here. Extremely narcissistic. So this is a group effort, a team effort to keep up a lie. Clarify the Queen of Swords in the reverse. Eight of Cups in the reverse so that they can walk away from things that no longer serve them. They wanted a feminine energy, a nine of pentacles energy with all the finances and, and the generational wealth to be rejected. So that's, that's dumb. That's, that's really dumb. I'm also getting that this queen of swords in the verse cannot move on. So there's this, this old, there's this old story that keeps trying to come back up and it's not working. Um... People are being pushed in their north node, and it's obvious who's being who is following their north node and who's not. This Queen of Swords in reverse is not following their north node, and neither is this King of Swords in reverse. Um, they don't want to. Picking up Aquarius energy. Clarify the uh, Five of Wands in the reverse. It's not working though. Five of Wands is in the reverse. There's nothing. Yeah, the King of Pentacles out here. Tell me about the King of Pentacles. Someone out here is just maturing. They're not in the energy of fighting. They benefit off of this masculine fighting with you or something like that. Clarify the, yeah, the Ace of Wands. They're leaving these people behind. They want to start something new. They want to commit to someone and be loyal to someone. They want a fresh new start with somebody. Yeah, so they're releasing things. Yep. Justice is in the reverse. There's some sort of injustice out here. This person sees it. Now they're like in the energy of not putting any... It's like they realize they ruined something out here. So this masculine could have been involved in a way, but now they're just like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. It's like they're releasing these people that still want to continue to fight or something like that. Clarify the Emperor. Clarify the Emperor. Seven of Swords in reverse. He's catching people. Eight of Wands in reverse with the death card. Yeah, things are backfiring and just things are just ending around this person. Um, clarify the Seven of Swords in reverse. Some sort of lie. Okay, so this is resonating with that reading I did two days ago. Some sort of big lie has been exposed. Two of Wands in the reverse. Yeah. Clarify that two of wands in reverse. Yeah, the ten of swords, everything is fine. Hmm. Ten of wands, page of wands, ten of pentacles, seven of pentacles in reverse, and the knight of cups with the ace of cups. They got to stop investing in something out here. It's giving me, like, vibes like this person, this uh, divine masculine, they do have a lot of baggage, or they got something on them that they can't get off. Because maybe they did try to betray you, but it didn't work. They, they're realizing that was the wrong path to choose. I'm also getting like this masculine sees why you don't trust them. Because I feel like you don't. But he's catching people in his life that he can't trust either. So it's like it's it's karma for him. But it's more like he's he's starting to follow his purpose though. So he's more in the energy of trying to fix everything. Clarify the page of swords. Clarify the Page of Swords. Uh, someone out here tried to uh, definitely deceive the Divine Masculine. Yeah, we have the Knight of Wands in the verse of the Three of Swords. Someone out here was lying. Hold on. Why the Knight of Wands in the reverse? Maybe trying to say that you were with somebody or they try to come to you and say that they were with somebody. Someone out here was in the middle of this um, plotting. Yeah, the Strength in the reverse out here. Someone out here can't hold on to their sexual energy. Four wands in the reverse. Yeah. They couldn't hold on to their sexual energy. But I'm also getting like there was some sort of big lie out here that maybe you couldn't hold on to your sexual energy. And that's what broke up the family unit or something like that. 
Yeah, the hermit in the reverse. Someone out here sees that now. They're no longer in the energy of ghosting you. They see exactly what's going on. It's like they feel hurt that they believed in a lie. They should never believed in this. They should never believed in whatever these liars were telling them. So there's two liars out here that was lying on the on the divine feminine or lying on the divine masculine. And they caught someone in a lie. Clarify temperance, Sagittarius energy. Ten of cups. Yeah, like they can't stop someone's happiness though. It's still coming back to them. Everything is backfiring because they can't block this person's heart chakra. Okay, like they can't. Clarify the ten of cups. Clarify the ten of cups. Two of swords in reverse. Yeah, they're not in the energy of like being in the middle anymore. Yeah, the higher fit in the reverse. It's like they're dropping old beliefs. Queen of Wands out here with the Justice in reverse. Um, with the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, it's giving me like they want to reward you for going through all this and being lied on. They see that you're an overcomer. They see that you conquered everything that was said about you. And they feel regretful. They they do feel bad. I, I do see this as like they feel bad about this energy. Uh, so far I'm picking up Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Cancer, Scorpio, Libra. Clarify the chariot in the reverse, though. Clarify the chariot in the reverse. Someone out here is leaving behind old beliefs, and it's leaving people, like, going down a down spiral here. Chariot in the reverse. Three of wands in the reverse. Whatever someone is waiting for to happen, it's not coming in for them. It's like, it is what it is. Yeah, the full card is here. Let me get another one. Aries energy. Ten of Swords. Let me get one more. Someone out here definitely feels betrayed because someone out here is just not waiting for them. So there could have been some sort of deal or some sort of collaboration or working together type of situation going on. They're not waiting for that collaboration to pan out. Um, they're going to come towards you. Yeah, the Eight of Swords in reverse. It's like they're not stuck. They're not in this comfort zone energy. They're just like, you know what? Bye. I'm leaving. And they're daydreaming about a life, a new life with someone. Knight of Swords. Yeah, the Five of Swords and the Four of Cups. Yeah, they feel rejected. They're like, how dare you leave me? Yeah, it's because they made the wrong judgment call. They should have never did that. They're being dropped and they're stressed out. That things are turning out in your guys' favor. And you guys are like out of the cold. They feel like they're going to be left behind. Pretty much. Phoenix, how's that for happily ever after? Your potential is endless. Someone definitely tried to slow you guys down from coming together. It's really irritating, you know? It's like... I see what else. Okay. Yeah. Fee, slow down and celebrate yourself. Okay. So you guys are going to be headed into some new blessings in your life. So in the meantime, spirit is saying to slow down and celebrate yourself. Uh, realize what you have. Wings. You never needed those wings to fly. Someone stole something from you guys and you still didn't need it. <laughs> you didn't need something and yeah. Great. Endings are inevitable. You didn't need something that they took from you. So it was one of those things where spirit let them take it from you so that they can be shown that it that's not what was that's not what was giving you your guys' blessings. It was definitely God giving you guys' blessings, not whatever they took from you. So they maybe could have stole a lot of money from somebody and it wasn't needed. So this is gonna uh turn out to be an ending for someone out here and you guys are anticipating an ending to happen. Um, I'm also getting like, this is divine masculine energy. It's giving me that. It's like, he's just slowing down. He's, uh, observing things from afar. He knows exactly what's going to be happening too. It's like, you both are in the energy of knowing what, what's going to happen. You guys are just being quiet about it. Yeah. The archangels are here. Making sure everything pans out the way it's supposed to be. Uh, balance, temperance, and patience. Yeah. A lot of patience is going on right now because you guys... 
know what's going on. Yeah, projection and bully energy. Yeah. It's like you guys know someone's fate. What else, please, for the collective in this reading? It's the same cards coming out. Wow, okay. So we have keep winning out here. You also have a dark presence out here behind you, making sure that you're not winning, so just keep winning. Okay, so we have spiritual bath out here. You guys are cleansing out your energy. Solar plexus, one in a million. You guys have a lot of willpower. There's not a lot of people out here like you. Okay, we have that uh, prostitution sex work energy that came out again. Twin flame connection, angry, irritated, and ancient bloodline. Yeah. So this is your guys' reading. Hope this resonated for you. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel um, to make sure you don't miss any of my videos. See you guys next time. Bye.